have a different perspective here today, but um, I need to go through this entire cabinet box and all of these tubs of comics that I have. I need to clear these out and get them into the fresh, clean white boxes that I have. So I've got one stacked up here, um, just ready to line comic books in. Um, I don't know what I have a whole lot of yet. I'm seeing some Sandman, Silver Sable, uh, booster gold more of the unexpected that I saw um, and then some spider-man and spider-woman I'm going to try to get similar comics at least the same series or same superhero not sure how to classify that same publisher um, into one box and hopefully get these into some sort of organization um, and then I will start going through what I have and trying to figure out what it is, what the value of it is, and find somebody who's interested in those comics that can hopefully enjoy some of them. So, here we go. Okay, so it looks like this one is full of Silver Sable comics. Um, I've never heard of Silver Sable, but some of these covers are pretty daggum interesting. Oh, and we've got some repeats already of the same issue. That's not surprising. Um, my mom. Here we go again, but this time I do recognize Captain America, so I'll turn that around for you. That's pretty cool. I guess I need to figure out who Silver Sable is. She's probably pretty important um, to the Marvel Universe. someone we probably all recognize Nick Fury in the shield all right we're getting into some Avengers territory here I wonder when these came out it looks like a pretty big jump from this one to this one so let's figure out this one seems to be labeled for issue number one so this is how all of the comics are packaged in this label and there's a little piece of tape here apologize for that sound and then it's important not to get the comic stuck on that because that could be a bad thing so here i am just trying to avoid that whole mess I oh man can you tell i haven't taken very many out of the comics book sleeves all right, there we go. Um, so I know it was December of something, but I'm gonna flip to the inside to try to figure out what it is. And that was in 1983. So down here at the bottom, you can kind of see, let's see if it'll focus on that at all. Yeah, anyways, it's 1983. December 1st, number one. So this is a good sign. We've got one and two at least. Here's to hoping we have the rest of the Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because that would be pretty cool to find a comic in its full set. So I'm going to create a second pile of these. I mean, that's a pretty big jump, don't you think? From covers like issue one here to whatever this is. Book four of six. Book five of six. And we're on to do a new comic. Not a good sign for me here. I will say this cover is pretty awesome. 
her silver sable. This alone makes me want to know more about her. And it's guest starring Spider-Man, so that might be a pretty cool issue to read through. And it's the first, and here we are with the second. Again, two copies of the second issue there. Three copies. So I finally finished out this first tub, Ooh. but now I have a bunch of piles of mismatched comics, which is what I was really afraid of. I was hoping that there would be a pretty good series of comics settled in here that I could just put into a singular box and it'd be nice and neat and organized. But apparently that's not how my dad was. So, or I should say my brother since he did this. But I figured I'd show you some of the cool comics from the rest of the box that I found. There was this one, this cool issue, Green Lantern. This was the only Green Lantern um, comic in here. And not sure that I told you this yet. The first two boxes that I went through were labeled Green Lantern and there was anything but Green Lantern in those. So I'm happy to have found the first Green Lantern comic that I have found. Um, but then there were some cool issues. There's a pretty good amount of Silver Surfer comics. And I think I'm just one for the gimmicky covers like this because I really like the holographic Silver Surfer and then him in the front. It does say that this is a giant sized 75th issue extravaganza. Um, honestly feel like that's just a gimmick, but there were quite a few of those. This single issue of the Joker, which happens to say it was, or I'm sorry, the Creeper, uh, the first issue. I think that image just reminds me of the Joker. So that's the association I made there. Pretty cool cover though. That hair. Um, let's see what else is there. There's a good stack of qu Quasar. I'm not sure. This guy. Maybe one of you can tell me. If you know, please let me know because I don't know anything about that, that hero. Then there's this black magic one that piqued my interest. Again, being a super Halloween head. Um, what else did I find? Most of these are pretty uninteresting to me or I think probably the general population. Here's Checkmate. Uh, some cool covers there but nothing i recognized at all then there's congo gorillas which i don't know just gives me major planet of the apes vibes um i will say there's this stack of batman comics not very many but there's a mix of things in here so quite a few dc comics um including cosmic boy and then I thought this one, this one is actually pretty interesting. I can't believe I forgot about this one. Cosmic Odyssey. I just see Superman right there on the front and some other characters that I recognize like Batman. And I recognize these others, but uh, you couldn't, I'd be pressed to know their names except for that one, Green Lantern. You can figure that out. So those are cool. Not very many of those though, just four issues. Pretty big issues though. Um, compared to some of the more like standard size comics that I've picked up just I'll show you those covers maybe someone will know something about Cosmic Odyssey and be interested in those oh and then I did find a bunch of random publishers and one-off issues so these are all of the comics that I have that just have like one or two copies from that superhero publisher whatever you name it didn't match up with anything else um, but there's some pretty interesting things in here so you can see the crimson avenger he's right here on the front and here are some bongo comics doesn't surprise me that they're simpsons it is the same issue but my dad was obsessed with the simpsons I had a figurine for all of the simpsons and I remember a lot of simpsons merch at his house so that doesn't surprise me. I did jam out to The Clash while I found these comics, but there were only three issues, if I'm right. Yeah, three issues and two of them are the same. So probably zero relation there, but that word association was strong. Um, 
cool world didn't look very cool to me. Uh, maybe it does to somebody else. Maybe you're interested in that comic. Um, what does this one say? I can't even read the title on that one, but I do know it matched up with, I think, one other that was similar to that, but it didn't quite match up. It had a different publisher, so don't know anything there. Uh, some Star Blast issues. I will say I think these are still pretty cool. These are $2, so I can figure out that that's probably closer to the 90s. These with higher ticket, um, higher ticket, higher uh, prices printed on the cover. Cover prices, thank you, my goodness. I can figure out where from the 90s. I, I did show you all the chain, chain gang um, war issues, so those are just random to me. I, do, I have no idea what those are, and nobody that I've asked knows anything about chain gang. Don't think it's going to be a super popular one, but by some miracle, hopefully somebody finds this. I am going to switch on to the second tub and try to figure out some organization so that I can make room for new piles of comics because I'm surrounded by a sea of comics and I know you can't see it right now. I don't particularly want to see the chaos that I have at my feet here, but you can trust when I say that there are piles of comics everywhere. There are literally piles behind me of comics and, oh, I should mention all of these are comics as well. So that's more. So I've finished up with three of the tubs so far and I'm running out of space to reorganize them. So I've got to grab a couple more of these boxes and probably gonna get some of the short boxes like you see behind me. These are half boxes, which is why there's so much space on this one in front of it. Um, there's another one behind it that's turned sideways to push it up a little bit more and make the stacks stable. Anyways, um, the third box was pretty uneventful. There wasn't anything interesting in there. There were a lot of comics from publishers like Image and um, some that I haven't seen before that I don't know anything about. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at the tub over here. Uh, maybe like Planet of the Apes was interesting. I did not know that that was a comic book. I'm only familiar with the <laughs> movie as you probably gathered from my reference earlier to a different comic. Um, then there were things like Gen 13. I really like, again, it wasn't noticeable. So I'm having to even like look over here to reference what was even in that tub. I think the plan moving forward is going to be to take these comics to someone that I know. Um, the man actually who sold my dad a good portion of his comic book collection, um, his name is Pat. He's in town. He owns a comic book store, which is super convenient for me that he still does. So I'm going to take him some of those and see if he has any interest or advice in those. And I'm probably going to try to pick out a few comics from the last batch that I went through and found. So, you know, some of the like Joker, Batman, Supergirl, Spider-Girl comics and see what he has to say about some of those and the um, state that they're in. I'm kind of hoping he can tell me a little bit more about the grading process so that I can choose better comics to be sent off to get graded if they're actually anything to them. I might hold on to a few of them if there are interesting storylines. I think I mentioned a few that I'm interested in reading so I might flip through those storylines and give you guys a review about what I think just jumping into that maybe I'll try to start with the first issue we'll kind of just see I'm pretty much winging how to go through this comic book collection because just like you guys I don't know what to expect I have a little bit of a better idea what to expect just based on the labels that I've been able to read and the peaks that I've made into some of these boxes over the years but Really and truly, I don't know what's in this collection in the slightest bit, except for what I've actually laid eyes on. So 
If you saw anything that was interesting to you in the collection that I tried to briefly show you, let me know. I'd be more than interested um, in talking to you about those comics or learning more about the industry as a whole if I can. Um, thanks for tuning in and I'll let you guys know what the plan is next time.